Well, there's no doubt about it. Cases are going up, cruise lines are making changes as predicted, and we do have some travel advisories as well. And being completely honest with you, I had a moment earlier this week that I really thought, oh my gosh, do I have to cancel my cruise? Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now this video is going to be a little bit different because usually I talk with you about cruise tips and things like that and I prefer those types of videos but in this video I do really have to talk a little bit of a recap of some of the news that's been going on that might affect your cruise that's definitely affecting my travel plans and really I'm going to speak to you kind of from the heart because we really have had a bit of a difficult week leading up to our cruise and we had some difficult decisions to make. Now before I get started of course I do want to mention that if you like this video if you find it helpful informative or enjoyable in any way then please do give the video a big thumbs up I really do appreciate it and of course please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay let's get started. So I asked a question in my Facebook group tonight is all of the recent news about this Omicron variant and well all of the rise in cases is this affecting your cruise plans? Because we have three pretty big pieces of news that we're all dealing with this week. One of them is that the cases are genuinely going up. There's no doubt about that. We are hearing that. Number two, we do have a point now that cruise lines, some of them have started to change some of their protocols and make them stricter. So we do have a Royal Caribbean, we have Norwegian Cruise Line that have implemented a rule right now that people do need to wear masks when they are indoors. And the biggest change really is for Norwegian Cruise Line because they had advertised on their website that they were really a mask free cruise because they were a fully vaccinated cruise. And Royal Caribbean, it's a little bit different because you did have some areas that you needed to mask, other areas you didn't have to mask if you were vaccinated. But for right now, they do have that they've had to sort of change that policy, be a little bit stricter, be a little bit more careful and implement um, that people do need to wear masks when they are indoors. And three, this is a big one for many people, myself included, Canada on December 15th issued a travel advisory against really, I guess, all forms of travel. And this really does have a very big effect on Canadians and really on the travel industry. Now, please let me know what you think. Have any of these things or even other things, are they affecting your cruise plans? Please let me know in the comments below. Now, I'll be totally honest, when I saw this news and we were sort of waiting for it. So I was actually at my computer and I was kind of doing a little bit of a refresh on the news. And then when I saw it, I was really livid. So I was not a happy camper or a happy cruiser. I was definitely not happy to see the Canadian government issue this type of advisory. I definitely think that they do want to keep people safe. So I understand where that is coming from. And I also understand people doing whatever, well, you feel comfortable with. But my husband and I really had to wrestle with the idea of what were we comfortable with. So what we went through was basically we looked at our own situation. What we did, first of all, is we found out what the advisory actually means. So it's not a travel ban. It is an advisory. So they're advising against travel. And I do think when we look at it, we sort of took it as we had to evaluate our own situation. Where were we going? Was this an area that we felt very at risk? In our case, we are leaving from Florida and we are going on a princess cruise. We're going on a fully uh, masked indoors uh, cruise. We are going on a cruise where everybody is vaccinated. We are going on a cruise where everybody is tested. And in our case, we intentionally made sure that we booked shore excursions so that we really take as little risk as possible in our own lives at home. Um, we are vaccinated. Obviously, everybody has their own decisions to make on that, but we are fully vaccinated and we take all of the precautions that we feel are necessary at home. And we know that on vacation, we will be doing the same thing. Now, I'm not going to say I don't feel any anxiety or even second guessing about this decision. The testing alone was already making me nervous. So this is adding an extra layer 
But really, when we thought about it, we thought about the fact that the Canadian government had uh, a travel advisory in effect for approximately 18 months until they finally lifted that travel advisory about eight weeks ago. So we really did evaluate sort of our own situation. My own parents are in Florida. I'm also looking forward to seeing them. Now, of course, I'm not saying this is the right decision for everybody. And I think really right now that we all have to evaluate for ourselves based on our own situations, uh, what we are comfortable with. But as of right now, we are going to be going on our sailing. It's on December 29th, the New Year's cruise on the Regal Princess. We are really looking forward to it. If you do see me on board, if you're on that cruise, do say hi. Um, and as well, please make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I will be sharing some of the highlights of the cruise. Um, if you have any questions about the cruise, of course, leave them uh, in the comments below this video. But of course, you can ask me on Instagram and Facebook as well. And I may even try to do a live when I'm on board. We will see how that medallion net is. So let me know what you think. Did I make the right decision? Would you have made that decision? Would you have done something different? And please let me know about your own cruise, how this is affecting you as well. Now I have two favors to ask you. One, please cross your fingers for me or say some prayers for me. And two, if you enjoyed this video in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.